Was Milutin Milankovic right when he predicted a coming ice age? Probably not, because the latest findings show that the drastic changes in our climate are not due to the Earth's orbit and axial tilt, as Milankovic predicted, but to the behavior of our Sun. The Sun is the center of our solar system and plays a decisive role in the Earth's climate dynamics. Only then can we protect our world, whether we are facing a greenhouse effect or an ice age. Milutin Milankovic predicted that the Earth was heading for dramatic climate change, and this would supposedly be triggered by the subtle but powerful forces of its own orbit. Milankovic was a Serbian astronomer and geophysicist who developed a theory in the early 20th century that is now known as Milankovic cycles. This theory revolutionized the scientific understanding of how astronomical variations can influence long-term climate changes on Earth. Milankovic saw three key aspects in the Earth's orbit. Eccentricity, axial tilt, and precision. Their complex interplay has influenced the Earth's climate for thousands of years, as these changes determine how much sunlight different parts of the Earth receive at different times, which in turn leads to periods of unusually cold or warm climate. He came up with this idea by carefully analyzing geological and astronomical data. For the first time, his theory offered a plausible explanation for the regular ice ages that the Earth had experienced in the past. According to Milankovic, it's not only the changes in solar radiation itself that influence the climate, but also the way in which the Earth absorbs this radiation and distributes it through the gases in the atmosphere. Ice Age or Warm Period It's hard to believe, but some scientists insist that we are not heading towards a global warming, but towards a new ice age. They see evidence for this in the cycles of our star. The Sun, our life-giving star, goes through cycles of activity and rest. During periods of low activity, known as solar minima, the number of sunspots decreases and the radiation reaching our planet decreases. Historical records show that such minima were often accompanied by cooler climate conditions on Earth. An example of this would be the Little Ice Age in the 17th century when rivers such as the Thames froze over. Throughout the history of our planet, there have also been times when the Earth has experienced unusual warm periods. One of the best-known warm periods is the medieval warm period, which lasted from around the 9th to the 14th century. During this period, temperatures in many parts of the world were higher than they are today, which led to a flourishing of agriculture and the growth of civilizations. The Vikings took advantage of these warmer conditions to settle in Greenland, a land that is now largely covered in ice and difficult to inhabit. Another important warm period was from around 250 BC to 400 AD, when the Roman Empire experienced a period of prosperity and expansion. A favorable climate allowed agriculture to flourish, the population increased, and the rulers ventured out on many new conquests. Thanks to the warm climate, the soldiers of the Roman legions were able to advance into northern regions and cross the Alps with ease. Around 5,000 to 9,000 years ago, the Holocene Maximum was a period in which global temperatures in some regions were even higher than during the medieval warm period. This Earth experienced a time of unusual biodiversity and rich flora and fauna. These cold and warm periods show that the Earth's climate has always been subject to constant change. Ever since humans have walked this planet, they have been exposed to extreme climatic changes and most of the time, like the rest of the world, they have somehow adapted. If we look at these changes and realize that no two ice ages were exactly alike, or that each warm period was unique in its own way, we can see that our planet's climate is a complex system that is influenced by a multitude of factors. But what are we facing now? Are we heading for global warming with a major melting of the poles, flooding, and heat? Or will we soon be facing a new ice age? What does the Maunder Minimum reveal? Our climate is not only influenced by the tilt of the Earth's axis, but also by the activities of our star. The Maunder Minimum was a period of exceptionally low sunspot activity that lasted from around 1645 to 1715. During this time, astronomers observed almost no sunspots at all, meaning that the sun was far less active than at other times. This phase coincides with the Little Ice Age and shows that solar activity can also influence the Earth's climate. Current information suggests that we are currently experiencing a phase of increased sunspot activity. 
A report from Live Science on July 5th, 2023, mentions that the number of sunspots in June was higher than in any month during the current or previous solar cycle. This could mean that we are on the verge of a new solar peak. In addition, there are forecasts that indicate that the maximum of the current solar cycle is likely to occur in early 2024 and 2024 at the latest. During this time, we must therefore expect factors that favor global warming. After the maximum of a solar cycle, solar activity gradually begins to decrease again until it finally reaches a minimum. This means that after the maximum of the solar cycle is reached, it takes about five to six years until the new minimum occurs. During this decrease in activity, the number of sunspots decreases and solar events such as solar flares become less frequent. A complete solar cycle, from minimum to maximum and back to minimum, takes about 11 years on average. Now, we do not experience an ice age or a warm period every 11 years. Rather, the weather oscillates back and forth. Several factors have to come together to trigger an ice age or a warm period. The Maunder minimum from 1645 to 1715 was also not a normal low, but a time of extremely low sunspot activity. Whether this alone led to the cooling of the Earth can no longer be fully understood today. However, it was probably a combination of solar activity and the Milankovitch cycles. Current Global Warming Do you believe in the impending climate catastrophe? If we believe some scientists, we are heading straight for a huge upheaval in the climate, which will cause us major problems in the next 10 to 20 years. The rapid increase in greenhouse gas concentrations in the atmosphere since the Industrial Revolution has very probably led to an additional natural warming of the climate. The greenhouse effect is therefore half man-made and half a completely normal process of change on our planet. As you probably know, millions of years ago, our world was covered by water tropical and warm, and the poles were ice-free. Back then, this was a completely normal effect, and the dinosaurs certainly didn't blow vast quantities of toxic gases into the atmosphere. Today, our heavy industry, the burning of fossil fuels, and deforestation are causing gases such as CO2 to accumulate in the atmosphere. As a result, sunlight is scattered more intensely on the Earth, and it is getting warmer. At present, there are still uncertainties regarding the exact effects of climate change, how quickly the climate will change, and what consequences this will have for different regions of the world. Scientists are using climate models and computer simulations to try to find out how the Earth will change. Such models are crucial for planning and shaping the future of our planet. They often show us that time is of the essence. We need to prepare. If entire island chains are flooded, thousands or millions of people will need a new home. Some areas may become deserted, agriculture will no longer be possible, and large-scale human migration will begin. Interestingly, some models also show crazy predictions, such as an increase in rainfall in the Sahara. Imagine this vast desert suddenly becoming green and fertile again. Archaeological findings show that this is not so far-fetched, proving that only 10,000 years ago, the Sahara was much greener and wetter than it is today. Can the Earth's climate regulate itself? It's an exciting question whether our planet, which in itself is a perfect ecosystem, has the ability to regulate itself. Let's assume that on the one hand, we have warming due to the greenhouse effect and other factors such as dramatically reduced solar activity that trigger cooling. Then we would regain equilibrium. Some climate models even predict that geological activities such as volcanic eruptions have the potential to mitigate or even reverse global warming. Nevertheless, the Earth's climate is very likely to warm continuously as a result of our human activities. If we are also heading towards an ice age, it could either fail or simply become milder. The science of climate change is complex and basically no one knows exactly what will happen. Ultimately, even our star is not completely predictable. This is shown by sudden fluctuations in activity or failures of cycles that have been stable for centuries. We don't know whether our planet or the universe has some kind of intelligence that would be able to regulate even our greenhouse sins in the long term.